Good afternoon, I'm Ava and stay tuned so you can find out about how a new documentary coming to Netflix and more. Are you getting your driver's license or your learner's permit this summer? If so, stay tuned and find out what you gotta do before school gets out. Hey, I'm Gabe and I'll be back later with weird news as well as a story about a child buying 918 Spongebob popsicles. That's a lot. So, stay tuned. Have you ever wanted to be a firefighter or police officer? I'm Natalie and stay tuned so I can tell you how to get some experience. In Texas, an eight-year-old boy named Jax won first place in the Kids Mullet Championship. He received over 20,000 votes and over 50,000 social media interactions. He was, al he was also awarded a $500 cash prize along with a gift card package. We all love SpongeBob as kids, but a four-year-old boy named Noah Bryant took it a bit out of hand. No one on Amazon and ordered 918 SpongeBob popsicles. That's right, 918. This purchase costed his mother nearly $3,000, which put her in a bad financial situation. Luckily enough, a family friend named Katie set up a GoFundMe page telling the story. The near $3,000 was paid with almost $4,000 extra. The Bryant family plans to use the money to further Noah's education and gain additional support as he is on the as he is on the autism spectrum. While you may think you've heard of some weird high school mascots, we have found a couple from around the world that will make you sit back and wonder. At Coben High School in Coben, Illinois, they call themselves the Apple Knockers. Now isn't that crazy? But wait until you hear what Hoops, Hoopiston high, Area High Schoolers mascot is. The Corn Jerkers. I'm sure you're glad ours is just the Bulldogs and not something bizarre. Now, let's go to Ava for some more news. Thanks, Ga Gabe. Now let's go to Donna with some important information about driver's licenses. Thanks, Ava. For those of you wanting to get your learner's license or your actual driver's license, you must email Gail Slaughter. You have to specify which type you want or you're signing up for, or you can come to the counseling office right here and sign up in the license request log. Paperwork will be, be available May 19th. Thanks, Tyler. Again, head to the counselor's office on May 19th for some paperwork. Now let's go to Natalie with a cool opportunity. Thanks, Ava. If you've ever thought about being a police officer or fighter fire, you should check out the Public Safety Cadets program at the Morin County Public Safety Center. They have meetings every Tuesday starting at 6 p.m. Now back to the studio with, for more news. Thanks, Natalie. What a great chance for students. We will be right back with sports after this message from the Doghouse. Welcome to the Doghouse. The Doghouse is the school store here at MCHS located right by the cafeteria on Main Street. Open during lunch, the Doghouse has a wide variety of snacks, drinks, and school supplies. Well, let's say you don't want any of those things. Well, that's fine too. They also have a lot of cool custom and spirit wear that you can't purchase anywhere else like what I'm holding right now. So what are you waiting for? Come on down to the Doghouse or visit their website mchsdoghouse.com and get what you need. Volleyball trials are this week. Open gym will be today at 345 and trials will be tomorrow at 345 in the competition gym. Make sure you get all required forms to Coach Goodwin before the start of open gym and tryouts. The golf team has their state tournament this week at Kachichi in Hartwell. Both the teams are getting ready for the match. That's all for sports. We'll be right back with news from around the world after this weather report. Good afternoon, and today the weather is partly cloudy with 77 per per highs. And highs going to be 77. Yep, and with a 30% chance of rain, and it's Looks like 77% slim. humid, so... Have you ever heard of a weather day. rope? I don't think I have. Alright, if you hang a rope outside of your window, if you look at that rope, if it's dripping water, it's raining, if it's moving back and forth, it's windy. And if it's just, just hanging like that, it's a pretty calm day. 
What do you tell those kids at MCHS? You can use the weather rope. <laughs> Go dogs. Go dogs. Yep. Thanks, Alex. Today in music news, Lana Del Rey's new studio album is on its way. Blue Bannisters was announced in April and has been set to release on July 4th of this year. While there has been no news of what songs will be on the album, she did tease about a new song called Listen. Who knows, maybe it's one of the songs on the album. Either way, her fans are very excited with the news. Venom is back with more action and more laughs. A new trailer was released for Venom 2 and shows what we can expect in the new movie. It will star Tom Hardy once again as Eddie Brock and Woody Harrelson as Carnage. It seems like Venom has started to get comfortable and is happy with his life, but gets interrupted by Carnage. The movie won't be coming out for a few months, but you can watch the trailers now. A new documentary is coming to Netflix about money. The documentary is called Money Explained. It, it talks about money and the different problems that come with it. It also is about how you could save, spend, and not get it taken from you. It comes to Netflix today, so you should definitely go check it out. If you haven't heard and are wondering why you can't find any fuel, or at least any cheap fuel, it's because of the recent cyber attack on the oil company Colonial. The FBI confirmed it was the hacking group Darkseid that closed the pipeline for the East Coast. The pipeline transports 2.5 million barrels tanking refined gas, diesel, and jet fuel from the Gulf Coast, and they shut down 5,500 miles of pipeline, which carried 45% of, the East, of the East Coast oil supply. The company hopes to reopen the pipe by next week. It is now time for another couple of award-winning joke of the day. It seems like we are getting down to the bottom of the barrel with some of these. What bear is the most condescending? A pan, duh. This one goes out to our school nurses. You can check this one to see if it's true. Like, seriously, stop by on your way out and ask. Why do all nurses have red crayons on them at all times? Because sometimes they have to draw blood. That does it for today's show. Join us tomorrow for news around MCHS and from around the world. Have a great day, and as always, go dogs.